obviously we live in a world where they always give the props to the man when uh, a woman succeeds in anything. Felicidades. Congratulations on being a new mom. So how's it going? It's going amazing. Uh, little by little, uh, getting to know the baby, getting to be with the baby and work. It's been really amazing. And in your docu-series, you were very private with um, your partner, R Rafi, and then all of a sudden now you're out, <laughs> you're out to the world. <laughs> <laughs> did you have to did you have to convince him like what was the process like okay are we gonna do this or not no not I mean it was just such a like positive moment I mean we went through so much like actually the pandemic and and you know not being able to get pregnant and then having that beautiful blessing it was just like we both said you know I think that this is the perfect moment to share it with all the fans that have always been there I was working on my album Natividad that I just uh, released and it was it was very interesting for myself to see how I was juggling like being pregnant get uh, like you know being tired at moments and recording all the videos from Natividad in like a month so I actually worked so much more and I feel like everything that was coming together was definitely a moment that I had to share with all the fans. And I wanted to say that I was with Rafi for a long time, but this was the moment to actually do it. I feel like it was very important for us to first, for first, for people to know Nati Natasha for Nati Natasha and see how that she uh, did things for herself. Obviously, we live in a world where they always give the props to the man when uh, a woman succeeds in anything. And, and it was very important for me to pe for people to see how I work and how me as, you know, being feeling empowered, make things happen. And the pandemic is a horrible thing, but it's a great time to be pregnant in because you can yes. be to yourself and you can focus more on yourself rather than out touring and like your life is so busy it's crazy because I mean it is a horrible moment for everyone and and, and scary but I got this blessing at this moment I was like it, it happened for a reason for sure and it did give me a moment to just to really enjoy my pregnancy to take care of myself to be with the family you know and and to really be careful I mean it was probably a pregnancy that wasn't going to happen and I was like this was you know, I was still going to be home anyways, probably if I, if it would have happened in any other moment. So, yeah. And many women can relate to you because they've been told, I had a cousin who was told you're never going to have babies. Now she's got to. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, first, I mean, yeah. I Listen, when I found out that I couldn't, I went online and I just, because obviously doctors don't tell you everything. So I went online and I just started searching, searching, searching. I read so many different stories. And for me to actually get out there and say my side of the story and also tell women you know that each person has their own way you know not every woman wants to be a mom or you know so but for me it was important for people to know that I'm a normal person and I went through that I had to go through the whole process of injecting myself and all that stuff so there are, women out there are not alone and I think that's what the show shows is that you're this big superstar but yet you have still have like real human problems <laughs> Yeah, real, real human problems. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so this year, 2021 is a big year. You gave birth essentially to two, a baby and an album. <laughs> so, Ooh, and trust me, it's, it's, they're both very delicate. You got <laughs> a lot of love to both. But listen, I would, I would do it a million times more. My baby is the best thing that, Vida is the best thing that could happen to me ever. My album, Natividad, it was just such a beautiful process. It, I, I will never forget it ever in my life. I did things, I did uh, projects that I probably would have never touched before. And I feel like being pregnant gave me like that motivation, like, girl, go do it. I mean, who cares what who says is it I, at the end of the day people are going to feel your vibe they're going to feel how good you felt doing it and I think that that's what music is supposed to be I I touched a a, a, a huge song with which is ready or not from the Fugees I got it into our world and to the to the Latinos which I'm very proud of being Latina and I made that happen and that to me was crazy it was funny because I uploaded a video on my Instagram and a producer Chino like actually got back to me like an hour later and he's like you know I got this song in Spanish the chorus and we went to to complete it the next day to write and I feel like those type of stories for people to see like 
the whole process of everything of doing doing an album, how I went about the songs. I did a, a, a 50 cent song. I collaborated for girls, which was is something weird in the Spanish market. And I, I just went ahead and I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have fun for the first time in my life. Real fun. Would you consider this album your most personal? Yes. It's reggaeton. It has perreo. Definitely a lot of perreo, but it is very personal. It's, it was in a process in my life where I will never forget it. Never. Bueno, muchas gracias and congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank Adios. You.